For our first tutorial video, we will learn a bit more about the interactive periodic table graphs. First, select the horizontal axis drop down menu. It's currently set at periodic table column. Select atomic number. Second, click the vertical axis and select atomic weight. You should now see a linear graph start at the bottom left and end at the top right. Now click color drop down menu at the top right and select density. Lastly, click the size drop down menu just below the color menu and select atomic radius. Note that if a data point is white or is in the shape of a star, there's insignificant data for that elemental property. Notice the shape of the graph and the size of the data points. There should be distinct subgroups of elements. To emphasize this, change the vertical axis to density and size to same size. Now you should see a number of peaks. Select the elements at the top, namely cobalt, rhodium, and iridium. Let's look and see where these elements lie on the periodic table. Change the horizontal axis back to the periodic table column, and the vertical axis back to the periodic table row. As we can see, cobalt, rhodium, and iridium are in the same column. Many times, elements in the same column have similar properties. What is the fourth element in that column? Where might it lie on the density versus atomic weight graph?